Hello guys, meet again with Movie Adult Recapped. This time we will discuss a film corpse prison part 1. This film tells the story of a student and two lecturers who are conducting research in a remote village, but unfortunately they will be killed and raped. What is the full story like? Watch this video to the end. The film starts with four students and two lecturers going to a village by car. But, they ran out of gas on the way. Not long. A car came to them and immediately helped him. They finally arrived at a village. And they then met with the village head. They were also greeted with a very lively traditional ceremony by the villagers. Because, every time a woman comes to this village, a ceremony is always held. Then, they were invited to have dinner and also drink typical village drinks. But suddenly, just say her name Iko. Iko asked permission to go to the toilet. Because he felt suspicious that the meat he ate was bear meat. While going to the toilet, Iko was surprised by a man named Ryo whose clothes were covered in blood. Then, Iko asked permission to go to the toilet. After being in the toilet, Iko immediately took off all her clothes. But, he was surprised because someone came. And it turns out that Ryo brought him a towel. Finally, now Iko could take a bath and scrub her sexy body. While elsewhere, there are two lecturers who are alone in one room. And it turns out that they are named Masaru and Ayumi. Then Ayumi seduces Masaru to making love to him. Masaru who also can't stand it, finally accepts the invitation to making love from Ayumi. The residents, who had not had sex for a long time, finally felt tempted by the female students who were visiting the village. But the village head forbade it, because his son had not yet chosen one of the women to be his wife. At night, Aiko woke up from her sleep and saw that her friends weren't beside her. Then he looks for her, and meets Ryo. Then Aiko asked, Do you see where my friend is? Then Ryo shows his friend's beheaded head. Instantly Aiko was terrified and ran as fast as she could. Until finally he entered a room. And in that room, there was a village head and a villager, who was eating the corpse of his friend, but, it turned out to be just a dream. The next morning, the lecturers as well as students went to the temple. However, there were two students who were tired and wanted to rest. Suddenly two people approached them. The student also asked if there was a supermarket here, maybe they felt thirsty and wanted to buy a drink. Then they both answered. Yes this is it. And then dropped students off by car to buy drinks. While on the way this student began to be suspicious of them. And maybe. These two guys aren't good people. On the other hand. Aiko and the other students were already at the temple. Then the temple guard comes and says they have to leave the temple. Because this place is not safe for them. Well elsewhere. Two students who are looking for a supermarket with two unknown people. It turns out they were kidnapped and taken to a house to be raped. Unfortunately, one of these female students had already been raped and the other one fought back by hitting the boy with a rock. When the two students were about to try to escape, suddenly a masked hero comes and kills one of the men. And one of the students managed to escape into the forest and leave his friend behind. Turns out, the masked hero is Ryo. Students run into the forest. Then met a man wearing a scary mask. Unfortunately, he had bad luck. He ends up being killed by the masked man. At night, Mr. and Mrs. Lecturer are reading a book they took from the temple. One of the lecturers said that 600 years ago this village was ostracized by the world. And very few baby girls are born in this village. Then, the village experienced an epidemic of famine and disease. Which makes women in this village die mysteriously. And in the past, there were lovers who came to this village. However, the villagers think that a pair of lovers is a gift from the gods given to the village. In the end the man was killed and his flesh eaten. While the woman was gang raped and had her legs chopped off. They hoped that if one of her legs was cut off, the woman could give birth to a baby girl. In fact, the woman still gave birth to a baby boy. Since that incident, 
they finally built a temple and hope that the curse can be quickly dispelled. But, still the baby born in the village is a boy. When they chat, they were startled by the presence of the village head, who suddenly came and took the two of them away. While walking, Mr. Lecturer gave car keys and asked to take all his students away from this place. Then suddenly Mr. Lecturer attacked the village head from behind. Until they finally got into a fight. When Mrs. Lecturer was about to get into the car, suddenly someone stopped her. But Rio came to help the teacher. Rio fights the villagers and kills them. Then suddenly Mr. Lecturer attacked the village head from behind. Until they finally got into a fight. When Mrs. Lecturer was about to get into the car, suddenly someone stopped her. But Rio came to help the Mrs. Teacher. Rio fights the villagers and kills them. Finally, they managed to escape from the pursuit of the villagers. But on the way, Rio said that if the villagers already know this place and also the path that Akoi and his friends will take. Finally Rio suggested to take an alternative path, they pass through the forest on foot. And. The movie ends. Ending of the film is in part 2. If you want me to continue part 2. Please support this channel to grow. Thank you and see you in the next video.